He's on. Oh, this one's a nice one. Oh. <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. yellow belly, is it? Huh? Oh my God. Look at the size of him. It's an absolute beautiful morning down here today. And today I've come down to the Nemoy River. I'm going to give you a bit of a look. It's actually a shallow part of the river. And it's got a fair bit of flow in it. I've got the rod there ready to go. And I was going down to a deeper hole. There's a really good hole about 500 metres downstream from here. But the Nagurubur beat me. I'll just give you a quick look at the Nagurubur up on the banks. I'll just give you a bit of a look at this track, check it out. I don't think we'll be going down there today. We may have to just wait a little while. I did try and walk through there, but it's not happening. Look at this. And this is what you gotta be careful of walking through the long grass. Don't know how quick you seen that big brown snake. I don't know how well that was gonna show up on camera. That's why I'm not walking through that Nagura burr. Just to give you a bit of perspective, that Nagura burr there is about two foot over my head, which is probably about seven, eight foot high. So I've driven through a bit of it, but I'm not gonna be able to make it down there. And the trouble with the Nagura burr is, as you can see, it's a really fibrous plant. See the fibers in it? And what happens when it's that big, wraps around your tail shaft, gets into your seals and chews your seals out. So I don't want to be stuck way out here. And today we're going to be chasing the yellow belly. I've had the shrimp trap in for about 10 minutes and they are absolutely going off. I'll give you a quick look at those. And I nearly reckon we're going to have to be doing a shrimp catch and cook. Have a go at, oh, there's a couple of yabbies in there too. Have a go at that. Absolute monster shrimp. I've had that rod in there for literally about two minutes and it's actually starting to get a bit of a nibble so I better just run over and just keep an eye on it. He's on. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's not happy about it. I'm going to have to go and get me net. I left me net back in the ute. He's got some bit of fight to him for a little carp. I'll just pull him straight up the bank. And I will go and get me net just in case there are some bigger fish here, I think. Got him that time. Got hold of him, little tiny carp. And I've jaw hooked him. I've come up around these sticks to have a bit of a go. I don't feel terribly confident. I reckon it's going to be pretty snaggy out there, but we'll have a go here. If we get too many snags, we'll go back. I think it's just, just a little bit too shallow up there. Hopefully here it might be a little bit deeper. I just reckon if there's a cod or a yellow belly hanging around, this is where he'll be. He'll be down here amongst all these sticks and logs. This little bit of slack water. The rest of the water here is just absolutely flowing. You can see all the way down there. It's really flowing, really got a real hard flow in it. And this is about the only little bit of slack water. And it is reasonably, or I'll say reasonably deep. It'd have to be a good two foot right off the bank there. Uh, I've got the shrimp trap in right there and you can't see it, so. He's touching it. He's touching it, I got him. Oh yes, he's a good fish too. Oh yes, yellow belly. He must have been caught around a stick and I'll give him a good jam. I better get the net out for him. We'll get him in the net. I'll wet that net. Oh yes, little yellow belly. I might even get a measure on him. I'll just leave him in the net there for a second. I'll grab me tape measure. So we'll get a measure on our yellow belly. Right there on his lip. And he is Almost 33, 32 and a half. Absolutely perfect. You little beauty. Well, moving down here and amongst all these snags and stuff definitely paid off. That's an absolutely perfect size little yellow belly. Can't ask for better. What we'll do, I'll get the rod back in. We'll see if we can get another one. And that line's gone a little bit quiet. So what I might do while I'm waiting for these fish to bite is shoot back to the other day 
and take us up to the hills and have a bit of a look around up there it's an absolute beautiful spot i wasn't really planning on doing a whole lot of yabbing up there but i really should have we'll go and check it out today i've just come exploring up the hills i'm um, not really chasing yabbies i did bring a string and a line with me and i didn't bring any lunch so hopefully we can get some yabbies for lunch well that's the plan anyway i've come across this little water hole and it's a really murky looking water hole sort of comes around looks pretty deep runs up there's a little shallow patch and then there's another deeper hole up here in the shell in the shadows there which probably looks like the better spot but anyway i'll start here and see if we can find some lunch there's definitely something on there i can see the meat oh yes a couple two straight up first check them lines have only been in for a couple of minutes you little beauty a couple of little fellas straight up and i wouldn't really call them little either they're a lot bigger than bait beautiful clean yabbies both lines are going off again this one here actually looks a bit slack now but it was just pulling so we'll get him up i'm hoping we can find a couple of monsters in here there's definitely something on it i want to get this scoop nice and deep oh yeah what do we got on there another couple another two and what i'll do is i'll move it i'll put it out this way and i've got about a half a dozen little yabbies here already these lines are going off but it's dead right out in the middle of the sun so what i'm going to do i'm going to head that i'm going to head that way i'm going to head up into here we'll go and have a look this spot here actually looks pretty bloody good to me a little bit too snaggy we'll get this line out and we'll just see how it goes i'm just looking at this muddy bank here this muddy bank up under here that's chock-a-block full of yabby holes you can see all the little caves and that down under the water too so that's a good sign hopefully there's something a bit bigger hanging out in here the only thing i'm going to have to be careful of in here is snags i can see the sticks all through the water here so we'll have to keep a fair eye on this line well that didn't take too long i can see that line over there going off i was actually just throwing a bit of bark in with them ones because they were fighting so we'll shoot over here i've got a bit of a creek crossing to get here i don't want to let them have too much leeway with this line because they're going to end up snagging me and they're going to be a bit harder to get in here because it's a, a fair bit deeper we actually feels better this one unless there's a couple on there oh no is it what have we got i've got a few on there you beauty well that didn't take very long at all that was only in there for a couple of minutes and another two I'm just walking backwards and forwards here and I just bloody tripped over something. I'll give you a look. Bloody dinosaur bone. Check that out. Absolute whopper. And it's actually quite hot up here, so I think I'll probably go for a swim later. Um, there's been a lot of wild pigs here too. I'll give you a look. As you can see, I don't know if you can make it out, but along this bank here, and that could be why it's a little bit muddy in this creek, you can see where the wild pigs have been they must be coming down down through here i reckon coming down here and getting water anyway this line's moving again this one here actually feels a bit better unless there's a few on here there's a lot of weight on it hopefully i've got you in frame oh yeah a couple of good ones actually two good ones you beauty another two but they're two nice ones i'll tell you what this line here is just one after the other they must be stacked down there and given how many yabby holes are on, along that bank there i don't doubt it oh this one's a nice one you beauty that's what we're after he is a nice one that one i thought there'd be some bigger ones in here have a go at that fella absolute little chonker and i'll tell you what the yabbies out here they're feisty little bloody things
I was just saying, we've got that big fella off here just a minute ago, so hopefully the big ones are coming out. Oh, there's a lot of weight on there again. You just don't know whether it's a few little ones or a big fella. Oh, a couple of big ones. Oh, one's flipped out again. There was three on there. No, there was four on there. I actually got three off there then, and one definitely got away. No wonder there was a bit of weight on it. My God. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't so far up, I'd probably come back here with the traps. But we are way up in the hills now. And a lot of weight again. Hopefully it's one big one. It's not. There's a whole bunch of them on there. wonder if I can pick that up on camera. They just absolutely swarm the meat. Have a look at that. How many's on there? It's like four or five. I think they've just smelt the meat and they're coming out of their holes. That's unbelievable. One, two, three, there's four. Good size yabbies on there. I think I'm going to have to start letting a few go. I only just wanted to pull in here and grab a snack because I'm doing a bit of exploring. We'll have one last check of this line. And it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. And then I reckon we'll go and cook some lunch. We'll get him up reasonably quick. Oh, there's a bit of weight on this one now. Oh, yes, they've swarmed it again. I'll get them up nice and I'll take me time. Oh, and I, they just all shot every, off everywhere. There's about five on there then. I think I've got two. Oh, no, I've got three. There must have been six or seven yabbies on that. Well, that was a fun catch. Uh, definitely got myself some lunch here. I'll give you a bit of a look at what we got. I ended up keeping probably about 20, but they're not very big. There's one or two big fellas in there. There's one really good size one. Where's he hiding? That's not even him. He must be sitting on the bottom. So we've got ourselves some lunch, a bit of Old Bay, smoking hot barbecue, some nice olive oil. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. I've got some of these yabbies ready to go. Check that out. I'm going to let these ones cool down. There's a nice little snack there today. I've got three tails up here cooling off. Um, plenty of that old bay seasoning on there. So we're going to give it a taste test. I'll tell you what, they're nice clean yabbies. Mmm, absolutely delicious. That old bay, I probably could have went a bit heavier with that as it doesn't have a lot of flavour. There's not as much flavour on there as the seasoning that I normally use. I sort of expect it to be a little bit spicy too, but it's not, it's more sweet. Mmm, unless that's just the yabbies, but they're absolutely delicious. Well, that's an absolute delicious little lunch. I'm um, glad I found that little hole, absolutely loaded with them, like probably half an hour, I got myself a snack. I'm going to keep exploring. I've got a couple of holes to check out up through here, or a couple of other little creeks, where they, I know there used to be holes. I sort of expected there to be more water here. Uh, I remember years ago we used to come up here, like I'm talking 15 years ago, and there was more water, so... I'll keep going down, there's another spot where I can get to, probably about another four or five k's I guess and I guess we'll head back down the river and see what's going on down there how's that for a bloody top spot I've got another place I've got to go and check out yet uh, there's a much bigger hole it's a lot further up and I didn't get that far up the other day so we might I might even go out this weekend coming and check it out well, that wind is really blowing up now so I've sort of come around the corner around this sandbank right around the other side it does look fairly shallow here. 
what I've done, I've taken the sinker off and I've thrown a bobber on there and probably give it about a foot and a half. We'll just have a crack at that for a while. And what I'll do, the current's flowing pretty well straight that way, so if I throw it out into the current, it should just hold the bobber in place. Oh yes, got one. Uh, another carp. I knew it wasn't very big. Another carp, and I foul hooked him too. There we go. That took, I'm just looking at the timer there, and that took literally two minutes. Two minutes 36. I'm going to call it here. All I'm getting is little tiny bites, so we're going to go back around to this um, little dead water patch and have a go with the bobber. I haven't actually had a go off the bobber there yet, so it'd be worth a try. So I think I'm going to have to call it. They've well and truly gone off the bite now and it's getting close to lunch time. So what we'll do, we'll check this shrimp trap and go and cook some lunch. I'll get this trap in and see how we go. Probably had nothing in here now that I want some. Oh yeah, I can hear him in there. There's even a big fella on top. Oh, nearly went in the river. Yeah, that trap is absolutely loaded. Look at that. Heaps of them. Absolutely loaded with them. Check that out. Beautiful big shrimp. They're massive too. And there's one yabby in there. I've, been, I've got a few yabbies out of this trap. So what I'm nearly thinking is it might even be worth um, finding a shallow part of the river that's not flowing real quick and setting some traps down on the river. We'll let him go. I only want the shrimp for today. And we're just going to go fairly simple. Got me two yellow belly fillets and actually got some nice fillets off that yellow belly. We've got a smoking hot pan. We'll whack them fillets on there. A little bit of all purpose seasoning. And what I've got, a bit of a secret ingredient today, this is called a Calamon C lime. Really strong flavour. I'm going to squeeze a bit of that on there. And I've got a handful of our little shrimp here. All I've done was pinch the heads off them so it's just the tail. I'm just going to throw them on. We'll squeeze a bit of Calamon C on them shrimp. I'll just give you a bit of a look at this, that's how you know they're really fresh. Look at the tails, they're still kicking. And we're going to go pretty simple today, I'll give you a bit of a rundown what we've got. We've got fresh bread from the bakery, cooked this morning. We've got a squirt of this stuff, Thousand Island dressing, absolutely beautiful with um, fish and shrimp. We've got some grated up carrot and some sliced up lettuce. Then on top of that, we're gonna put our two little yellow belly fillets. Absolutely beautiful. And then we're gonna to top that yellow belly off with our shrimp. And we're just gonna go a little drizzle of this calamon C without trying to get too many seeds in there. No, it's all squirting back the other way. Just squirted up into me hand. <laughs> it went everywhere but on top of the sandwich. I don't want to put that in there, that'll absolutely um, blow your taste bud clean out here, that will. She's pretty strong stuff, that, that's all the guts out of it. We don't want that in there. <laughs> Last thing to do, most importantly, put the top on it. And I don't know whether you noticed or not, I actually bought a plate. I went rummaging through all the old junk in the shed and found a box of old plates, so I thought, oh well, beauty, I'll use one of those. <laughs> I've got a ripe old mess happening here. We'll have a look at it. I think you're going to be impressed. Have a look at that for a singer. Not a bad lunch if you ask me. There's only one more important thing to do and that's give it a taste test. And we'll go straight for the good part, straight in the middle. Mmm. That's absolutely delicious. I'll try and dig one, just one of those um, shrimp out of there. Mmm. 
lovely little morsel of goodness. So I'll sit here and finish my sanger. We'll leave the video there. Don't forget, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.